there'd be no bio, no big full scale historically correct, you know, sim scholarly bio on this man for over half a century. That's crazy. And so I set out to do it. Uh, what started out as one volume grew to two volumes. One time I was arguing for three volumes, but they said no, two is more than enough. What surprised me most was how intelligent uh, and uh, innovative he could be. We all think of him, we've got a character image of him as a clever politician and very charming, but a man who had no ideas except to get power and hold on to it, who was corrupt and a drunk. This man, Johnny McDonald, was the first national leader in the world to try to extend the vote to women. He tried to do that in 1885, which was a third of a century before we finally got round to doing it after the First World War. He was a man who was capable of original thought. I feel pretty good about him. I, I really like him as an individual. He, he, was, he was damn near irresistible. And running this country with all its divisions and rivalries, you needed someone like MacDonald. You, you, you had to be able to juggle about 18 balls at the same time, and he could do it. This is his country. I'm convinced, no MacDonald, no Canada.